everybody doing it. Good, good, good. Sleepy, but good. Sleepy. Yeah. yeah. Good, good. Hungry, sleepy, it's that time. Yeah. I mean, it's the end of the day at Comic Con. I yeah. think uh, we're all there. Yeah, end of the journey. So, what your characters, um, I've been asking this for everyone's characters, uh, since magic is so important for you guys in life, and uh, you guys have this darkness where you use your magic from, how does losing magic affect your personality? Like, like you specifically, Julia, is so integrated into magic, and she's so aligned with it. How does that affect her knowing that she can't she can know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. But that being said, I think Jason said this earlier. It's so perfect. It, it's not. It's so much bigger than just that. It's now global. It's global. This is So it's beyond their just their comprehension. It becomes like a greater issue. Well, I think it's so interesting, right? Like we lay Easter eggs throughout this, the seasons that like. All of the great inventors of our time were magicians. So, if their inventions were run by magic, or at least created by magic in their infancy, what happens when magic goes away? Nikola Tesla was one of these people. So, like, does electricity stop working? Do airplanes start falling out of the sky? Does the gravitational force of the moon stop working? Like, do the seasons shift? Are the tides not working? Like, like it's a global energy crisis, and so it's bigger than anything that they've ever dealt with before. Responsibility to that, yeah, I think is extraordinary. It's almost like to save you know, yeah. Since the elimination of magic is directly related to Quentin's actions, does he feel a sense of responsibility or guilt going into season three? Kind of, but he's also a person of logic. So, I mean, if we think about what happened, Ember was going to destroy magic anyway, so someone had to stop it. And they, so, it was a catch-22. Um, so, yes, like, his actions are responsible, but had he not done anything, we probably would have been in the same place anyway. Um, I also think there is, through, through what Quentin learned last year, or last season, um, about moving forward and having um, an objective and a goal, I think you're afforded the ability to not have to self-evaluate. Um, and so I think he's addicted to this forward momentum and we're not going to think about the things that we should probably be dealing with because it would be dangerous to me to do so right now. Thank you. Thank you.